So I'm working on my front axle of my leaf sprung G4 chassis. This is an Austin Gypsy 1965. I put this axle in about a year and a half ago and I couldn't get these seals for the swivels. Uh, COVID made things kind of hard and I just couldn't find a source for them. Um, but Richard at Gypsy Spares ended up being the guy to see and he was able to supply these seals. Um, I also had these swivel balls. Um, you can see they're in really rough shape. Um, I put the best ones that I could find out of all my stuff and this one's got a few pits in it too. The other side is in better shape. I'm going to check into seeing if I can get these re-chromed. I don't know what it would cost, but for now I'm just going to use these these ones here that I that I have that are best that I have. And uh, I think they'll work, especially with new seals on there. So I thought anybody working on their gypsy might want to see this. The, the inner seal for the inner axle rides here. Um, something curious, uh, a lot of the times when you... Uh, Put that seal in there it's flipped the other way with the the lip of the seal facing in uh, these originally have it facing out so i guess they're more concerned about keeping things from going from this housing into the axle housing and what they do on these they run of course gear oil in the in the differential they run gear oil in this swivel housing so it uh, the U-joint, you see it has no seals on it. It's constantly bathed in, in 90 weight gear oil. Also, the front locking hub is designed to take oil as well. And I think it's important to use oil, or if you're going to use grease, use a really light white grease like I've put on here, because these locking tabs, or dogs, whatever you want to call them, they, they are spring-loaded, and the, the springs are actually what engage the hub. So if it was a cold winter day, and you'd put a lot of grease in here, uh, what's going to happen is these are going to stay stuck in the housing because the, the grease will be so thick. So for me, I'm going to run gear oil in these. And uh, being with all new seals and everything, it should work really well. I've... Uh, heard different uh, opinions as to what to run in this swivel housing. A lot of people use grease in there, uh, especially once the seals start leaking, because the oil just runs out the bottom. So, you know, I can see people putting grease in there just to, uh, just to keep it lubricated, because you need to keep these bushings, or in some cases bearings, tapered roller bearings are in there. Uh, you need to keep them, them lubricated. And what I've seen people do is take this housing and they take the fill plug and they put a grease fitting on there and they, they just pump it full of grease. And that's, you know, that's probably okay to get you by, but the problem with that in the long run is uh, if and when you get water inside of this swivel housing, it's going to stay in there and you won't be able to get it out. Where with oil, there's a drain plug on the bottom and you can take this drain plug out and drain it and, and get, you know, any water. I mean, obviously I'm not all the water is going to come out of there if you get some in here because it's going to sit down in, in the swivel pin. Um, so anyway, you can drain that oil, get as much out as you can, and you could flush them out that way. But um, you can see this has had water and it. it was rusty inside. These um, are the swivel pins, they fit in there. Like I was saying, uh, newer Land Rovers that I've worked on, and I think Toyota Land Cruisers, they have a tapered roller bearing in there. The Land Cruiser might have had a bronze bushing, I can't remember, it's been probably 25 years since I had one apart. That's the lower steering arm fits in there. And that's where water's gonna get down into in, in that uh, 
in that bushing, which is just kind of a kind of a bad setup because that's sealed right up and the, the water can't get out. This one goes here. The housing will be there, of course. But uh, something with running grease, um, well, you have this U-joint in here spinning. It's going to be throwing oil and lubricating these bushings. Uh, I think with grease, you might starve this top bushing of, of lubrication because grease, you know, it's going to stick to the to the underside here, but it's not going to be able to work its way in there where while we're having gear oil, it's going to be slinging in there all the time. I've uh, got a list of all the parts that I've used for this. I've got a seal number that you can get. Uh, I'll put it all on my website. Uh, the seal number for the inner seal, the swivel seal, uh, for the front wheel bearings. Uh, I've, I've found the number for this uh, inner spindle bearing. And I'll have everything listed that I used uh, on this on my website. Just for curiosity, if you want to see what it looks like when it's assembled. It looks like that. I used silicone. It'd be nice to use, probably use black silicone. I could have made paper gaskets for these flanges, but uh, silicone does a better seal. Um, and it's, you know, it's permanent. I sealed the, the back of this as well, and I put silicone around the seal just to make sure water couldn't get in around the edges. A lot of gypsies didn't come with the locking hubs. And that's how they work. A lot of them are just permanently driving with the, with the flange bolted on there. And yeah, that's about it. Just thought I'd share that little bit of information. And like I say, if you're looking for parts, uh, these are pretty common seals and bearings. You can, you can get them at most any automotive uh, part supply. Or online, of course. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.